You know what? I am tired of having to poke people back on Facebook when they poke me. I think you call them poke wars or something. But, yeah, you know what? I think I just want my computer to fight my poke wars for me. You know, that way I can poke 200 people and just win 200 poke wars because my computer returns pokes automatically. I don't have to do anything and everyone will poke me and they'll wonder what the heck is going on. Oh, okay. So I wrote a user script, or two actually. They both do the same thing. They return pokes on Facebook when you poke them. Uh, so I'm signed into Facebook on these two test accounts that I have, and that's perfectly allowed. So I'm going to click here, click poke. As you see, the poke appears on the other account, and it's automatically returned. I'm not even doing anything. However, there's also an auto-poke script running on the computer on the right. So I'm going to just switch to that tab. There you go. And you can see these two computers whoa, are now fighting a poke war, pretty much. By the way, it is perfectly okay for me to have these test accounts. I'm an app developer on Facebook. So I get these specialized test accounts. Um, they are uh, not allowed to interact with regular accounts, but they do allow you to test your application. So my website is, uh, is a Facebook application, so I, so I have these test accounts. Anyway, um, I'm signed into Facebook on these two accounts, uh, and these computers are now fighting a poke war. You'll notice that these are two different scripts. Uh, the one on the right is the one that I wrote first. It's pretty much a fully fledged edition of my auto poking scripts. It comes with a visual log. It logs fa it logs all the pokes. You can see how often someone's poking you and the time intervals between pokes. There's even a feature there that says poke all friends. If you click that and then click the confirmation in the resulting dialog box, it'll actually poke all your friends on Facebook for you. Now, I wouldn't actually recommend doing that because Facebook doesn't like you poking uh, 500 people at once, and they'll actually disable your ability to poke people, and the script won't help you in that case. People can poke you, but you can't poke them. Just a word of caution. That's what happened to me anyway. Now, the script that's running on the left doesn't actually come with a log. It's just a simple um, notification-based poke returning thing. When it, receives a, when it receives a notification on Facebook for someone poking you, it just scans the page for all those poke back links and just clicks them for you. So that script's only about 100 lines long, whereas the one on the right is about 600 lines long. I'm just going to let these computers fight a poke for you. Now imagine um, poking 200 of your friends and then just starting this auto-poke script. You could win a lot of poke wars pretty easily like that. Alright, so the computer on the left pokes, the computer on the right, and the computer on the right pokes back to the left. And I have these time displays so I can sync up the two videos. You know, they're probably not perfectly synced. So I'm just going to show you where you can get these uh, automatic poke returning scripts. So let me just go to my website. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll post the link in the description. So let me just go to the home page because that's where you end up. Now when you get to my website, you go to Programming, and then Automatic Facebook Poke Returner. Or if you go there now, you can just click the link over here in the New Items bar. So there's this whole page about how to manually load the script into your browser using Firebug or Developer Tools in Chrome. However, if you have Grease Monkey in Firefox, or you're using Google Chrome, which natively supports user scripts, you can click this link to go to the same script, which is on userscripts.org. It's the same thing, it's just designed for Grease Monkey, that's all. So just click that green install button. Uh, okay, so let's see. Now here's the 
lightweight version of the script, which is what's running on the computer on the left. And it's the and as I said earlier, it's only a hundred about a hundred lines long. It uh, uses notification system on Facebook to know when to return pokes. Now, there's also something here called the Facebook Poke Notification Dismisser. Now, normally when you get poked on Facebook, there's this little beeper that comes up. That's what Facebook calls it. So it's blue, um, rounded rectangle stacks of notifications that appear in the bottom left corners of your screen on Facebook. And they tell you so-and-so poked you. And then you also get a notification in that notification list that you get when you click on the globe icon that some people poked you. However, in this case, my computer is already returning these pokes automatically for me, so there's no reason for me to have to deal with these notifications. So there's also this notification dismisser, and it's running on both computers. It's the same ones. Um, and it also uses the notification system when you get a notification about a poke, it automatically tells Facebook that you read it. Alright, so I'm just going to close this. Alright, it's probably not very exciting to watch two computers fight a poke war anymore. But you could poke 200 of your friends or so and then just start the script and just watch your computer fight your poke wars for you. Um, I actually used the poke all friends feature in the... Um, big script, the one that's running on the right, and the script poked about all 500 of my friends, and 200 of them started poking back, and I gave up pretty quickly, because I just, I just sat back and watched my computer poke 200 people at once. It was pretty awesome to watch, and in a few days, they all gave up, because my computer would just poke them back within a few seconds anyway, and... You can win a lot of poke wars this way, and if you don't tell anybody that you're running this script, they'll just think that you're awesome at poking. One time I left the script on at night, and someone poked me, and the next day in school she came to me and said, you are amazing at poking. And I said, you do realize that I'm running an automatic poke returner, right? <laughs> yeah, because I think she actually poked me over 80 times before giving up. Yeah, people sometimes don't realize I'm running an autopoke script, and then they say, well, how do you do all that? So anyway, that's automatic poking for you.